Just wanted to make you wait a little bit longer right. for it. Every now and then, our meteorologist Aaron Myler gets out of the weather office and into the kitchen to do something he loves, which is baking. So recently, he was at Wilbur's Candy Shop in Freeport to make Santa out of chocolate, mm. which sounds perfect. And step one, he learned, is starting with some color. Hey guys, for today's Myler Makes It, we are going to be hand painting some chocolates here at Wilbur's Chocolates in Freeport, Maine. This is Andy Wilbur with me, and we're going to see how it's done. What are we making today? We're going to paint some uh, Santas. So we're painting his fur on his uh, on his cuff. So white chocolate. We're okay. Show you how to do this. We're just going to dip it in there, and then we're painting inside the lines. Sometimes you have to twirl it a little bit in order to keep it on the brush. And then a little bit on his cuffs. But if you want to do the same thing, yeah. you can take over. So afterwards, this is what we're going to see on the front of the chocolate. Yeah, so we're so kind of doing it in reverse here. Yeah, you paint on the mold and then we'll fill the chocolate, uh, fill the mold with uh, the milk or the dark chocolate afterwards. And then, uh, and then it goes in the closet to cool off. And then when it comes out, cool. it's ready for Christmas. So where else do I do? So right inside. Right here? There, yep. This is harder than it looks, you guys. Yeah, you have to. I really am messing this up. I apologize. And then where else should I do? Uh, his second cuff is right there. Right here? Yep. Oh, I see. I think I definitely messed that one up. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Anything right, else? These will be practice. These are gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take these back with us because these are not gonna be the best ones. Okay, so we're gonna do a few different colors here. And after we paint all this, you said we're gonna fill it with some chocolate and then we'll pop them out and we'll see the actual, like this is what it's gonna look like after it's all done, you guys. You can see which one's better and which one's worse. Cool, okay. Well, we're gonna finish painting these up, then we're gonna fill them. We'll show you guys that coming up in just a second. The mold process can be confusing because mm. you're looking at the reverse yeah. of what you're actually going to see. Tricky process that. there. Well, Aaron Myler will bring us the next step in the process coming up in our next half hour.